His check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. New York is to lift their COVID mask mandate in schools beginning today. They'll no longer require students, teachers, and staff to wear masks inside school buildings beginning today. That reverses a policy that had been in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19. On Friday, the state health commissioner revealed he'll alter the state's mask requirements for schools to align them with summer camps, removing the mandate for the final days of academic year and for camps as they get set to begin. Beginning today, mask use in schools will be, quote, strongly encouraged, end quote, by the state, but no longer required. Connecticut lawmakers are pushing through a legislative session that's about to end. Each year at this time, there's pushes at the state capitol to pass legislation. A lot of talk about recreational marijuana. That continues to be a work in progress. There are other bills that people want passed. The goal is to reduce gas emissions in the state by 45% in 2030. To do this, the governor's budget includes a charge on wholesalers passed on to consumers. It would cost five cents more a gallon. The money raised would give rebates for electric vehicles and would build more EV charging stations. Republicans say they would rather see money come from somewhere else, not taxpayers. Now, one of those laws, Jennifer Law, passed the House and it heads to Governor Lamont's desk for a signing. The bill named after Jennifer Jennifer Dulos, a new Canaan mother who was allegedly killed by her estranged husband in 2019, is designed to protect victims of domestic violence. The law would broaden the definition of domestic violence and would change the laws around reinstating orders, divorce, and custody. Currently, domestic violence laws are based on physical violence or the threat of physical violence. The new bill would also include coercive control, which lawmakers defined as a control that can and does lead to more abusive behavior. Legislators passed the bill 134 to 8. It will now head to the governor's desk. Bardavon and UPAC have announced their reopening tickets to go on sale to the public on June 11th. After closing for 14 months, music will again fill the Bardavon and Ulster Performing Arts Center. The Bardavon in Poughkeepsie and UPAC in Kingston will be reopening for shows beginning in August. Four new events join a list of postponed 2020 performances. The latter shows include Britt Floyd, Frankie Valley, and the Four Seasons, the Maverick Celtic Women in Stomp. Tickets for the new shows are on sale to Bardavon members on Tuesday at 11 o'clock and to the general public. That will happen at 11 o'clock on June 11th. Tickets for rescheduled shows are on sale right now. In-person ticket sales will return on July 6th. New shows will be announced in the next few weeks. Tanglewood has their protocol set, three feet of distance inside only and masks being optional. Following guidance from the Tritown Health Department, the state and U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Boston Symphony's plan for this summer's Tanglewood Festival now includes three feet of separation between ticket holders seated in the music shed for all BSO-related performances while masking and physical precautions are recommended for unvaccinated audience members in line with CDC guidance. The regulations from the local health boards limit total attendance to 9,000, half the normal capacity. Earlier, the attendance cap had been 25%. In some meetings in our area coming up tonight, the planning board has their regular meeting in the town of Dover. It's via YouTube and Zoom. In Salisbury, the board of selectmen have a meeting at 6 p.m. The Inland Watercourse and Wetlands Commission meets at 7 p.m. Tonight, Great Barrington's annual town meeting is tonight at 6 p.m. at Monument Mountain Regional High School. For the second year, they'll hold the annual town meeting drive-in style in the parking lot. In Region 1 news, the Region 1 Board of Education tonight, 6.30 till 8.30. North Canaan coming up. The June monthly Board of Selectmen meeting is set for 7 p.m. tonight. Weebatuck Central School District has their Board of Education meeting at the high school library at 7 p.m. tonight. The 25th annual Murphy Open Golf Tournament, benefiting the Tri-State Chamber of Commerce, will be held this year on Tuesday at the links at Unionvale in LaGrangeville. It benefits area food pantries and food drives. All donations are tax-deductible. More information, tristatechamber.com. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursday, beginning tomorrow, Identity Theft Happens runs from 10 to 2 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, and Thursdays 5 to 7, and Saturdays 9.30 to noon. 
in Sharon. The Board of Selectmen have their meeting coming up tomorrow at 3 p.m. at Town Hall. In Kent, the Sewer Commission has their regular meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. The Board of Selectmen have their meeting at 6.30 tomorrow. In Cornwall, tomorrow, the Wastewater Committee meets via Zoom at 5 at 7, the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting via Zoom. And 7.30, the Housatonic River Commission meets via Zoom. In Falls Village, there's a public hearing on the housing grant at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Dover Union Free School District Board of Education meeting is coming up tomorrow at 7 p.m. In Falls Village, there's a public hearing on the housing grant at 7 p.m. tomorrow. In Hillsdale, the town board meeting is tomorrow at 7 p.m. It is via Zoom. The Northeast New York Planning Board meets on June 9th. That is at 7.30. Pine Plains Planning Board meets on Wednesday the 9th at 7.30. On the 10th, the Stockbridge Grange on Church Street serving up a takeout only public baked beam and ham dinner with your choice of lemon or chocolate cream pie for dessert. Pickup takes place on Sunday, June 13th from noon to 1.30. All orders must be submitted no later than June 10th. Call 413-443-4352 or 413-243-1298. The Sunset Music Series and Car Cruise back in North Canaan, the 10th annual Food, Cars, Motorcycles, Music and Fun every Thursday evening from 6 till 9 p.m. June 10th through August 26th. Coming up on the 10th, the Rocking Heartbeats. Rain or shine, all activities 6 to 9 p.m. The Norfolk Library kicks off its summer reading program, Tales and Trails, on June 11th at 6.30 with a pet parade. Prize is given in many categories, so participants should register their pets by Wednesday at the Norfolk Library.org. On Saturday, June 12th, there is a bulk trash and electronics recycling day on South Center Street in Millerton, New York. For a list of items, visit climatesmartmillerton.org. The Hillsdale Car Show, Trucks, Motorcycles, Muscle Cars, Street Rods, Customs, and Rat Rods, Saturday from 9 to 4, awards at 3.30 in the Hamlet Park in Hillsdale. The rain date is for June 13th. Spectators and children are free. Please bring a mask. Trophies, including People's Choice Award. There's vendors, food, music, and a 50-50 raffle to benefit the Hamlock Park renovation. On Saturday at 1 o'clock, Bonnie Akjar Celebration of Life will happen at Veterans Field, Lions Club Pavilion in Sharon. You're invited to celebrate the life of Bonnie. This is a public event. She meant so much to so many people in our community. This is a way to come together and celebrate some of Bonnie's favorite things. Bonnie loved good food, good music, comfortable clothes, and spending time with people she loved. So wear your favorite clothes, bring your favorite food to share. Bonnie was famous for her deviled eggs, so there will be a deviled eggs judging contest with prizes. Live music with Brother Other and other musical guests. In keeping with the tradition of old summer parties, there'll be a pig roast, hot dogs, hamburgers, and fresh-cut French fries. Beer, wine, soda, and water will be available. RSVP for the Deviled Egg Contest. Any questions or more, you can find out from Ray Jr. or Bumpa. Our business brief is underwritten by Salisbury Bank. SalisburyBank.com on the web. Morgan's at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Instagram. And by Viali Insurance, 75 Main Street in Lee, insuring seasonal and secondary homes in the Berkshire since 1912, 413-243-0347, vialiinsurance.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts the day off today at 34,756.39, the NASDAQ at 13,814.49, and the S&P 500 at 4229.89. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.